So in this video, we are going to set up the Vue.js in our Laravel application so that we can use La, um, Vue.js components inside our Laravel application. So currently I have this uh, project. It's just a basic uh, page. If you uh, see here, I just loaded it. It's just a brand new project. So I opened it in the text editor. So if I uh, close all these tables, you will see that uh, it's a blog project. Where sorry the command line so terminal in mac os or cmd in windows so i'm going to go into the directory of this project so i'm currently using zap so uh, for that and if i say here there should be cd ht docs and here we should have our blog so cd blog so I'm inside the blog folder now and here I need to run a command to install. It's going to be a npm command to install view and to have this command running you need to install node.js in your computer. So if you're using Windows and uh, if you're working on XAMPP then you need the node.js installed. So link is in the description you can uh, check that. So I'm just going to add this and it's going to install this package. You can see that it says uh, view 2.6.12 is installed. So this is the stable stable release of Vue.js, which is already included in here. Now inside our, uh, our project, you will notice a uh, node modules. So all the libraries of views going to be installed in this directory. You can see that currently node the module have a view folder inside it, and whatever files are required by view. We are not going to touch this anymore, uh, so I'm just going to leave this. So here, in resources, JS, we have app.js. I'm going to open this. Now this is the file where we are going to put our code. So uh, if you go bootstrap.js, we are including some libraries here. This is something uh, done by Laravel, and then Laravel is including this file into the app.js and we are going to add our uh, like we are going to use Vue.js so we need to add Vue.js here so first thing first we need to include our Vue.js in this file dot capital V view is equal to require and here view so this is going to include the Vue.js for us now what we need to do for the more uh, we need to create an instance of Vue.js. So to do that, I'm going to say constant. And it's going to give it the name of app. It's just going to be new view instance. So it's going to view. And here, we are going to give it an element. So I'm going to get element, uh, which is going to be the ID of app. And uh, furthermore, you can give uh, more things here, like components and all, if you want to. So this is something which is basic uh, view instance we just created. So now if you go to the public directory of our project, we does not have a lot of files here. Uh, to make this Vue.js working with our application, we need to compile it. So first of all, I'm going to open the CMD again. And here I'm going to say npm run dev. So this is going to compile the JS files for us. Now currently it is giving me an error which is saying that uh, this uh, cross env is not present so we need to install this So uh, it is working now. You can see compiled successfully, and uh, it is telling us. So if I go to the project 
here in public folder you will see new folders like JS folder as well as CSS folder so these are the folder where the new files are compiled let's say app.js uh, this is something we don't need to touch here uh, but what exactly is happening it is compiling all these JS files and including there so uh, the same is happening here app.css so if you want to include it so uh, as we have our application here so I need to include the Vue.js into this so what we need to do we need to include this app.js into our layout file or blade file wherever you want to use the Vue.js so we can give the location to this public directory JS and then this app.js so it is going to include that so what I'm going to do I'm going to go here so currently our page looks like this if I refresh it stays like this so here I'm gonna remove all the content because we don't need this okay so if I say hello and go to the page uh, we get hello here and inspect this in console so we'll, now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna include uh, the script and as a script here and we are going to oh sorry we need to define the source and in Laravel we use asset so this asset is going to have 2s and then here we can say js and then app.js so if I go here and refresh so you can see that we have that the uh, view dev tools extension better development experience we are running the view in development mood but it also says we cannot find the element id of app because uh, we define the id of app here so we need to create that element so here what we can do we can give this uh div an id of app and once that is done after saving and refreshing the page here we'll see that error is gone now we are ready to work with this particular div we can use vjs inside it now if you're using these uh in your layout files in your project you have layout files then you need to include the this app.js inside your layout file so that it can be it can be available to all and your app id should be like this so all content uh, going to be like a, if you are saying yield or and, uh, you're putting content that is going to be inside this id of app so that it works so what i do i go in uh, i'm going to close this public folder and js as well so we need to add this uh, Vue.js in our layout file. So inside views, I'm going to create the directory for uh, layouts. And inside layouts, I'm going to create a single layout file, the app.laid.php. Okay, so once we have this file, we can have uh, whatever we want. So what I do here, I'm just gonna select all and cut and gonna paste inside our layout file so our welcome.blade is empty now our layout is here so whatever CSS we want to render we want to render here so I'm gonna say add yield and it's going to be styles uh, spelling so the content goes here as well as we need script so add yield scripts goes here all right so now we have this app.js uh, inside our layout file now inside the welcome.blade as it's the home uh, blade file for ours so what we say here add x extends and here we say layout dot app and here you can define uh, whatever you want to do so as a section and here you need to be style and these names should match so we have styles here so this se uh, section should be styles 
that end section. Now I'm gonna copy this so that we can do it quickly. Uh, copy in twice. Now this is going to be content and this is going to be script. Alright, so here I say hello from late. Alright, this is the content, so we are rendering this scene here. So it's, it should, should display there. So if you refresh the page, we get hello from Blade. And we have the view working in our application. So we have the view up and running. So you might want to see like how we add the component because currently this text is showing up here from our blade and rendering to uh, the layout file. So we have I have dot js here. So to create Vue.js component and load this uh, it here, what we can do, all we need to do is go into the resources JS, and here I'm going to create a directory. Is going to be components uh, inside component I'm going to create a file now you can create any file here I just give it a name of home.view and uh, inside it I'm going to say template now you should know the syntax for the Vue.js because I'm just going to add this uh, here to demonstrate that how it works so I'm going to cut this from here and I'm going to put this here. So now you can see we have it in our component. So we need to include this component into blade file so that we can use it. So to do that, we need to register it first of all. So to do that, we need to go into app.js where we have our view instance. And here we are going to say capital V view dot component and here you're going to give the name to the component. I'm going to give it the name home and then comma. Then we're going to say require. And inside require, what we're going to do, we're going to uh, put dot slash. It will take us to the components directory. Now inside components, we have home.view. So I'm just going to say that way. All right, so it looks good. Now here, we need to put a default as well. So this is how you call a component and uh, in your view instance like you uh, attach it. So we gave it the name of home so I'm going to copy this and go into blade file and here I'm going to say home and close here. So you get that we have home here and home here. So it should display this text. So if I go to CMD to update and compile again so I'm going to say here npm run dev it's going to compile and it's done now if I go here and refresh the page you see we still have it here and no error that means it's working now we can check this if I say hello blade uh, using home view component now it, it should work so we need to compile again this time so uh, every time running the npm run dev is not you're not going to do every time you make change you can put watch so anytime you make any changes into dot view files it is going to automatically going to compile it so I'm gonna drum this and it's going to compile it's compiled refresh the page we get from blade using home view you can see it's coming from here now if I put here uh, using npm watch so I just added some content I uh, saved it now if you go to the CMD it uh, if you notice it was some doing something itself I don't need to add anything here if I go here and refresh, you will see that using NPM Watch. So it compiled automatically all by itself. If you're, uh, you can see it this way as well. So if I put here and I will say, uh, uh, let's remove Watch. And you see it's compiled. And you refresh here, that Watch is gone. So this is how you use the view components. Now you can create as many components you want. You can create further directories. All you need to do, you need to call those components through here. 
and you can extend your application as you like I will include the zip of this file so that you can have the idea how this is written if in case you required it thank you for watching goodbye I know.